Welcome back, my lovely friends and homies. Today I have a very powerful message and I hope all of you, which really need to hear that right now, can be in tune with this message as I'm saying it. Today I want to explain you what is mastery when you ask angels and archangels about the definition. You know, an angelic and archangelic power are observing people. Most of them, they define us as we are the water in charge what's gonna be the message of our presence in the universe. Other words, they perceive us as we are the life with the only possible influence on all drops of water on all time, on all seconds of existence. So, from an angelic point of view, we precisely choose if you're gonna leave the sacrifice, pain and struggle, or if you're gonna leave happiness, excitement, uh, consciousness. Uh, of course, I'm not uh, naming opposites, that's just an example. World is a chessboard and everyone who believes in world uh, consisting of good and bad may um, exactly uh, turn this video off right now. Because uh, world, as I perceive it, is more multidimensional situation and uh, if you are still living in this metaphor that everything is rather good or bad, that means that you still in the situation in which what is uh, comfortable or just easy to take for you, you might consider as positive. And what is anyhow, well, maybe not trouble, so not dangerous, uh, but uh, not fitting. Uh, in a definition uh, of pleasure, you may consider as negative. Me and why? Mastery is uh, not only the result, not only the final substance of person going gold, it's also the process. Each one of us, doesn't matter who is watching this video right now, and who is listening to my very attentive cut in the next home I invaded. And which home I'm invading, there is a cat to take over, which I'm taking over, a womb, because in Polish language, in, when you say uh, that you want a peace um, in the world, like, you know, each one is universe, this is really the fashion all the time, and, well, not like I'm one, because yeah, I'm aware of the situation that I'm not eventually, at some point. Uh, but uh, yeah, when you say in my language that you want peace on earth, you say this, chce pokoju na świecie. And pokój, the word pokój, is the same word as we use when we want to describe exactly peace. Same kind as peace on earth. Yeah. Uh, so. I might maybe screwed up some spots in my former life or just, you know, yeah, back in the days. Because right now, everywhere I'm staying, I actually do have a room, an entire world. So, to make long story short, um, for each one person to be master, it takes a process. I know I probably told it as a master yada, and uh, hopefully, I don't perceive me entirely like this, that's only my grammar. Uh, but I want to say that mastery is unique. When you are becoming master of something, that means you are on the top of the skill, of the substance, of the name, of the definition of this art you actually master. That means 
and you are master of something that everyone below you and not below in hierarchy but below you like going after you like behind you like uh, not um, let's say having experience enough to be compared to you uh, is able to listen to you at some point with certain respect and doesn't matter if this person has um, sympathy to you or not at all when you master you master so this is also impossible to spot in this definition one really really important detail you know emotions and feelings are pendulums of human expressions and of course emotions are present in the human body only when we have enzymes and hormones that means when we are alive feelings well that's eternal stuff and immortal endless limitless and absolutely true when we feel it but also when we want to compare nature of mastery to more like feelings or more like emotions you need to spot that in this definition is something higher than both of them because mastery is absolutely uh, not to discuss and uh, when you see uh, masters uh, on some kind of sports olympic or when you see masters of music when you see masters of martial arts then you see the moment in which humanity through this very person through this very name and surname uh, and the last name actually uh, pushed universe forward in this very species or in this very kind of art uh, so every time when you have any touch with genius any touch with um, mastery in art in sport in sex in conversation in any actually area of life you feel like you're open to learn and this is exactly how you can perceive if that's mastery or not because even though we all have an ego and some of us working on it some of us not at all when there is mastery on the table some people can be in this corner uh, with not humble people and say okay this dog so i'm gonna just kill it because i'm gonna be absolutely better in a second some people are like wow and staying there for a moment and everyone can have only reaction and everyone gonna have only reaction but nobody gonna deny that this is mastery so from spiritual point of view each one second of your presence of mastery if that's an art of dance if that's an art of using your own voice if there's an art of moving, of writing, of rapping, of painting, of anything, and if you are present in there, all those seconds, all this golden and even higher substance from those seconds uh, is eternally empowering your soul. Because as each one highest feeling and above, mastery is the genuine substance of genius and when we look at people when we look at human lives we can say that from the point of view of eternity human life is just inhale and exhale of the universe each one of us is just a moment right for stones we can touch we can you know uh, actually you have these stones in your uh -huh. For you know, for even stones, we are just the moment. This stone can have like few thousand years. I'm just some water presence touching it right now. So mastery is eternal, and uh, even in few thousand years, if you are, ma are master of something, people cannot remember your name. People cannot remember actually um, your biggest success but the water of the universe has been flowing about this has been consisting in um, your success your victory and the reaction of the world and your own reaction and you practically 
reveal that the world higher because of this and exactly this is your contribution so each one master is giving something special to this universe is rebuilding it higher so um, it would be too easy and not very in my style to just give you those impulses of knowledge not even entire sentence and to leave you just in the middle of nowhere and without any homework so homework is please connect with your own definition of mastery and find it in yourself reconnect with those moments you've been the master for the universe and if you've been the master because you made the most epic pizza ever if you've been the master at this very moment because uh, you found the solution for um, the case in which even uh, Dana Scully, Fox Mulder, Mike Guyver and Ninja Turtles said like, I give up, I'm like, I'm like, oh, which is superstition, you know. Uh, so uh, if that was it, just spend as much time as you can in master. And also remember, each one of us, each one day, has only 24 hours to spend. Well, this is a lot or not a lot, but remember that your day has exactly such amount of hours as the day of people you really admire, you really uh, respect, and you really want to follow or just you consider as masters. So, to make long story short, since right now, Try to uh, spend your seconds of your life highest you can. Just uh, use the time you have in here on earth to actually bring uh, what most good, what most powerful, what most important for you um, as you perceive it. Because each one person has different definition of mastery, goodness, love and each one the primary and basic value so that's why define your own substance of mastery and spend time in it when I had a revelation last year and because I've been to the um, monastery of Black Madonna in Montserrat next to Barcelona uh, and with my entire life I've asked in a sanctuary about uh, actually saving someone's life. Mother Mary, which I wasn't expecting out there, like absolutely, that's not even her sanctuary, but uh, she appeared and she said to me, all right then, so your entire presence is in asking. So then I said, okay, so I may use other words, so I'm gonna say a wish for this very person and for myself. So she told me, you ready come? All right then. So right now, your entire presence moved into wishing. And my last idea was like, so in this case, I demand. And she laughed over me with her entire majesty and actually protection over even dumbasses like ours in this very moment and she said so right now your entire life moved into the mandy and in this very moment as i'm a human being i felt like this labyrinth i was walking in actually stopped and this is that end and like I'm a rat searching for a, a piece of cheese, it wasn't there, and I do not know because my IQ actually was expired this very moment. But suddenly, she started to speak in again, and she told me, "If you want to happen something, be present in happening." And she said, "Manifest." with entire life. If you're ready for this breath you're taking right now, for the first breath in this universe, for you and the situation you're asking 
got to happen. To be present, when you're ready, take this breath. And with this breath, your manifestation gonna be just one breath off. With the second, your miracle gonna be two breaths off. With next steps, there are gonna be some steps in it. But remember, you're bringing this to the universe. And when you're asking for a miracle, you became one. So since then, you're breathing, you're walking, and you're existing about it. And I did. And this is also some part of my definition of mastery. Mastery in art I have chosen. In art of magic. Art of manifestation. Art of creating reality. So, I empower you. I inspire you. And remember about this homework. Namaste, homies.